exclamation everybody and welcome back to the live craft mine server see a heck of a lot has happened today or i should say in the last couple days i tried to record a little bit earlier but um uh, a couple days ago actually uh but i i was sick and i my voice did only lasted for about 10 minutes so uh, and i'm i'm getting some weird frame rate lag i don't know why this is but uh Hopefully we can deal with it as we go along here. Anywho, you see a heck of a lot has changed in the, on the server on the last couple days. There's this uh, pillar over here too. There's some kind of something going on over here. I, I don't know what. This just cropped up today. Um, I saw it this morning when I came on to try to prep for today's episode. Uh, I have no clue as to what it actually does. <laughs> But uh, I'm sure it's it has it has a bit of a sinister look to it. <laughs> so we will we will see what that what becomes of that. Uh, so I because of being sick, I, I I actually did some things off camera that I wanted to do on camera, uh, but uh, it just it wasn't working out so well. So. I have, uh, I'll just catch you up on where I'm at. Uh, nothing is complete yet, uh, but there are quite a few things that I've done. Also, uh, we now have uh, some spawn markers. I've been through the nether. You'll notice I have one death. Uh, that happened off camera. I was actually in the nether this morning uh, gr collecting some glowstone uh, for some, to get some redstone lamps going here. And uh, yeah, I, I poured lava on myself. <laughs> Uh, I, I was mining out uh, a block and uh, getting some quartz while I was there, because why not? And uh, yeah, uh, the nether the nether got me. But however, I was able to recover all of my stuff, so I'm still in iron. This is actually my second suit of iron armor. I've already gone through one. So uh, I am getting a little bit low as far as the iron goes. Uh, I, I'll have to go and, and grab some later. Also, we have, someone has done us the courtesy of mapping out the area. You can see where where our spawn village is here. And there's several things around. I see. I noticed this boat and some farms over here as well. And some sinister looking uh, volcano. Um, I have been looking around. I've been trying to uh, find some... I've been doing some scouting to see if I could find some areas that uh, I'd, I'd like to build in uh, because I'm going to, uh, there's a couple things I wanted to do around spawn here, but there's also things, you know, I want to also find a good spot for some other projects as well uh, away from here where I can sort of do a few things myself. Uh, but anyway, we're going to stick close to spawn for now for a little while. Uh, you see, I also found myself a donkey. Um, that was way off in that distance. I found off in this direction a really cool area that I, I was looking for. Like I was looking for a deep ocean area, and there was some nice uh, like land around that place. And uh, unfortunately, someone had already wow this this zombie has already seen us from way over there. Uh, unfortunately, someone had already uh, claimed that there was a uh, a house already built there. So that's a bit unfortunate, but it is. Uh, it is to be expected. It is a multiplayer server. So I, hopefully I can find another one because one of the projects I have uh, involves some underwater stuff. And I would like to be able to and get, get off my get off my hedges, man. <laughs> I would like to be able to find a deep ocean area. I know I, I've heard that uh, in this version of the game that they are uh, a lot smaller than they used to be as far as the uh, deep oceans go. But I don't need that much uh, for what I'm trying to do. So hopefully I can find one. Also, uh, here's my house. Uh, last time you saw it, there was only a first floor. Uh, and I did the rest off camera. I, I intended to do a lot of it on camera. But again, I uh, was sick and couldn't. Uh, my voice wasn't strong enough to deal with it. So what I've got, i got the sort of a flower pot thing going here up on the top, both in the front and in the rear. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I sort of 
it's the best I can do, I think, with vanilla anyway. This is one of those situations where I kind of miss FTB because I could have all the micro blocks in the world and make it look halfway decent, make it look like an actual flower pot, but whatever. We're doing doing what I can with what I got. And what I want to do on camera here, I'm going to make some changes. First of all, now that I have some redstone lamps, we're going to get some sconces set up here. Uh, hopefully, if no if no mobs decide to, to join us here. So we'll do that, and that, and this. Huh. That's it's not quite working out the way I had hoped. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Hmm. Well, let's, let's do this, and we'll do this. And we'll just go with the with the levers here. Uh, unfortunately, it would be nice if I could get the lever to go the other way. Huh. Can I... Is there a way for me to flip these around? That would be kind of nice. Let's see, uh... How do I... Well... <laughs> that works too, but it also opens the door. It's not what I want. Uh, can I do it this way? No. I, I really, I really want it to be the other, the other way, guy. I want it to be this way. Can I do it like this? No, it, it insists upon going that way. Um, that'll have to do for right now, I guess. Uh, I really want, I really want the levers to go the other way. Uh, and I didn't really plan for it to be... Hmm, maybe I can... Can I break these? Let me see if I can put it down a little bit lower here. Maybe that's... Maybe that's what the doctor ordered. I don't know. Besides Dr. Pepper. Uh, go like this and like that. And... Like this. Oh, not like that. Like that. And. And. That. Looks terrible. <laughs> that truly, truly looks terrible. Alright, well. We'll have to, I'll have to figure something out here that, that looks half decent. Uh, maybe it's just going to be that I have to put these on either side. Here, maybe over here. Um, do that, we'll do that, and you need to stop going to the end of your leash, because I don't want that to break, that's the last one I have so far. Uh, I found some more, uh, slime balls along the way. I don't know what happened. I, you remember from a previous video that I had found five, uh, or I, I killed a slime and got five slime balls. I had no idea what happened to those slime balls. I've looked in every chest that I that I own, and they are they are not there. So either I threw them on the ground when when the server crashed, which it has done a couple times, um, and it despawned, or I don't know what happened. <laughs> so let's see. That's nah. That's still not quite. I guess I'm gonna have to put them up on the wood, maybe here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out there. But anyway. That's what I have so far. Let's let's just take a look inside. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> um, what I have going on here is I I tried to make a little bit of a table and a little bit of kitchen area. So I've got my furnaces here. Uh, this is really just for decoration more than anything else. To you know, just so I can have sort of a tile floor going. Uh, and these are the ones I would really use. And of course I've got some workbenches. And thinking of making a dance house with a Jeb sheep as a disco ball. <laughs> cool I'd dance there. <laughs> um what I got going on here, I've got some storage. Just your basic, basic stuff. 
And I, I need to get some carpeting in here. This, uh, this anvil I just sort of threw here for right now. What I think I'm going to do is actually move it out and turn it into maybe a little bit of a table and make it sort of even more functional. <laughs> All right, I haven't even built that my first customer. <laughs> yep. Uh, down here is just a little bit of a basement. This is sort of my project uh, planning area. And I'll just give you a quick glimpse <laughs> of what I have planned, including the super secret thing. I also, uh, off camera, I found my first um, spawner. And in there I found a name tag, two music discs, some iron, uh, some bread, some iron horse heart armor. And of course, I went and dug through the mossy cobblestone. So now, uh, up here, this is the main area. I've made some steps going up. And I have my bedroom going on here. And I've, I've purposely made it where it's sort of an open uh, ceiling like this. Got some gravel up there just to give it a little bit of a different feel. And, of course, my flower boxes. So I can see all the different flowers that I've collected and, you know, get a little bit of a happy, cheery thing going. Uh, and I've put mostly tools and stuff in here. My compass that I was using to find my way back when I was trying to search around for... Excuse me. Search around for uh, some areas to build. Also, uh, I have a Power One bow, and this this was dropped by a skelly along the way, along my travels, and I've I've repaired it up with the anvil. So that is where that came from. Uh, and up here, I I need to figure out what I'm going to do. This is again very plain Jane. Uh, I just sort of threw things down until I could figure out what exactly I want to do. Along the wall here is my this is what's left of my first iron armor that you saw me build in the, my first episode. The chest piece is all that was remaining. Uh, everything else had broke, so that goes up on the wall. My first uh, wooden pick obviously goes on the wall, and my first uh, wooden sword. So that's all. The, that's my typical way I start these games, is I, I take those and set them aside and hang them up on the wall of my first base. So here we go. That's what I have going on so far. Um, I had some plans uh, for the spawn area here too as well, um, but I'm trying to put them, I'm sort of putting them on hold for a little bit uh, since there's been a lot of building going on here. I don't want to, I don't want to usurp too much room at the moment. I want everybody else to get their, uh, to get their builds on. But as you can see, we've had quite a bit of, of building going on here. Uh, this uh, birch area, um, for run all around uh, he, he did all this stuff uh, it, it kind of looks it's funny when you see it uh, I like the I like the roof there actually the the way he's got the jungle planks I have to find some jungle planks also uh, I noticed there's something up in the sky there I have no idea what it is I don't I haven't pillared it up there yet but at some point I will to see what's up there um, but anyway he's got also he has some iron golems here protecting the place so I'm not going to go inside <laughs> but uh, I like what he's done here. It's funny this this birch wood here. It uh, it gives it a feeling of like having that um, what is it that house wrap that they put on before they put uh, you know they wrap your house in this like material uh, before they put the uh, vinyl siding up and stuff like that. And it, it kind of has that look to it. Um, over here we've got uh, Squeegee's uh, Super Sake Station. And uh, he's got a few uh, few things there. I don't think he's he's open for business just yet. But you see this nice uh, architecture here. Uh, the only problem that with this is that th he does get a lot of mobs <laughs> spawning up there, uh, which like to drop down on people. Uh, we've seen Toad's house here, uh, and I think uh, this is is Headwind doing this one. I think so. Uh, he's been. Uh, been busy here this i like i really like the look of this this is pretty cool pretty cool looking uh he's actually it's you know i'm kind of uh upset that i wasn't able to uh continue recording um on uh wednesday i think it was 
because he actually had been in my ba in my house. Uh, he went down to my project area and left some <laughs> left some pretty funny signs on the wall, which I ended up breaking uh, by accident. And uh, <laughs> you know, it was like uh, you know, give Hedwin a hundred diamonds or something like that. <laughs> Uh, so that was pretty funny. He's been leaving me a few things. He's he's left me something over by the chicken farm as well. Uh, one of the things I was thinking of doing before this map went up here, uh, I was thinking of extending this road and actually having a bridge here. Uh, I may or may not do that. Uh, it really depends. I, I was not expecting a map to go up here. Uh, so I had put like three um, dirt pillars here just to kind of measure it out uh but they're gone so i at some point maybe i will do that but I, i'm gonna let everybody else kind of get their chance to do their thing because somebody is building over there and it would be nice i guess to just to uh, have a bridge over this water instead of having to use a boat um also i am going to start building over here that's part of this year this episode right now uh so it would be nice to have like a road that goes over there Rather than uh, doing a little bit of a swim, so that's that's everything. I've I've pretty much caught you up with what I've got. Oh, also on my roof, uh, I have put uh, some pieces of carpet up there to keep the mobs from spawning, uh, and so far it seems to have worked. I I have two. Uh, I managed to get them the same color that I wanted, the the dark gray, uh, except for two of them. Two of them are black, so I still have to go back and uh, fix that up. And again, I'm not done with that house by any stretch of the imagination i need to do uh some more to it uh get i have some more ideas there you know get some furniture in there and a few other changes maybe figure out how to get those uh sconces to look right so over here by the chicken farm i've got an egg as well see uh i, I actually killed off a bunch of the chickens over here uh, as you can see Edwin gave me gave me some chickens. There were there were a bunch, <laughs> there were a bunch in here uh, earlier today, um, which I ended up going through and uh, and murdering. So uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. Wow, I got sixteen eggs already. Jeez. There you go. There we go. And what I'm trying to do? Oh, there's there's run all around. Uh, welcome back. Anywho, uh, over here is where I'm going to start my new project. Uh, I kind of, I've been doing, this is this is the grindy, grindy part I've been doing um, off camera. As you can see, this area is, is pretty hilly. Uh, and there was a, just a small, small clearing uh, up here. And I have... I have flattened it all out. <laughs> this was not like this. This was more this was more like this area here where it was just small hills. Uh yeah, I've gone through and flattened this place up. As you can see, I actually increased it by one. Uh because these, these guys are on the actual level that it used to be on. And I have I have the dirt to prove it. <laughs> if anybody needs dirt, I got dirt. I also got a whole uh, some more stacks of dirt back at my uh at my house there let's uh let's get a breed job on some of these guys these horses actually did me a favor they actually jumped up on on the uh, the fence here and i just kind of pushed them in here so they are now they are now part of this endeavor uh let's grab some wool we're going to need this for some carpet i also went through and oh, thank you for regrowing I also went through and changed some of these uh, these pink sheep to a different color, to to gray, which is what I really needed. All right, hey guys, oh yeah, you want some of this, don't you? Oh oh oh, no, I don't want to be on the horse. No, I just want to. I just want to give all these guys some tender loving care here. There you go. There we go. I, think I got everybody. All right, and uh, let's see. Oh, there's okay. Well, there's there's some stragglers there. Sorry about that, guys. And uh, did I let me 
We just put some some dirt in here right now. Cool. All right. So all that long-winded stuff, and it's becoming nighttime, so this is going to be interesting. I've I've torched this place up somewhat, but not not entirely. So this will be my barn slash farmhouse slash public area here. Uh, what I'm going to do here, my goal is to, first of all, we're going to have a good old-fashioned uh, barn raising. Then I'm going to probably build a little farmhouse uh, over here somewhere. And then uh, I want to get a silo going. And I, I have like a little circle generator thing here that will help me uh, figure out how to make a circle in Minecraft. It's just a printout that shows you how to how to do it of various diameters. And inside that, uh, I'm going to have some wheat farms, like an automatic wheat farm. <clears throat> Excuse me for one minute. Uh, my voice is not still, it's not quite there yet, but it's it's getting a little bit better. I'm starting to get a little bit phlegmy now. <laughs> Just maybe that's a little too much information. Um, I'm going to have a silo here with a automatic wheat farm in it. And then over here, I'm thinking of having like little shops. Uh, I, I, I say that in air quotes. They're going to be like little sort of like a farmer's market type of thing where I'm going to be having um, just some some of the basic essentials, but also some of the uh, more exotic things that are a little bit harder to come by, which is why I'm trying to find a desert at some point. Because I'd like to get a cactus farm going and then I can have then people can come here and get some cacti. Uh, I'll have some carrots, some potatoes, uh, obviously the wheat and the seeds, but that will be mostly for breeding these guys. Uh, and then everybody can just, you know, once this is open for business, everybody can just come in and do what they need to do. It'll all be free. They just come in. You need some leather, go get some leather. You need to, you need to, um, um Horses, the horses will be in a barn here. You just have to breed them. Just, you know, whatever you take, just make sure you breed it. And so it's there for everybody else. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that is my plan. Uh, and I also have, again, I also want to make, I have plans to make a stonemason shop. Uh, I'll see whether or not that's going to happen or not. It probably won't be an actual shop. It'll be more like a, an outdoor thing. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what, what happens there. All right. So let's get to some, some actual building here. I've got some wood I've been collecting. And I, you saw in the chest I had some more there. Now I've made this uh, 17 by 9. I think that will be a good size. I, I have a, measured it out a little bit in a creative world that I have running. So uh, I think this will look okay. And I put this dirt here just to see what the barn doors would look like. Because I want to have a three wide sort of area that will act as a door. And in here, now it might be a little bit closed quarters. I, I think in my creative world, I think I did a, a, by a, a, you know 17 by 11. Um, let me see what this looks like. Is this, see, you can get a horse in here, get some horses along the way. I think this will be fine. Uh, I kind of wanted it to be a little bit wider, but at the same time, uh, I don't want it to be too expansive because it's supposed to be a barn, you know what I mean? And I'm going to do more of a, uh, what would you call it? A traditional traditional barn where it's going to be a the, the bottom area is going to be open right and then there's going to be just a small loft above it a hay loft so let's now I think I'm going to do four high here and then of course the the roof is going to be just wooden planks or not wooden planks I'm sorry wood uh, wood logs uh, which is why I didn't turn all those wooden planks into logs yet. Um, 
and I'm going to need to I'm going to need some more wood here. So let us get a move on on this. Oh, we got we got an Enderman over there who's hopefully not going to be too much of a problem for me. Now, can I? Now, at what height should I? Should they be up a little bit higher? Maybe they should be up a little bit higher. The 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 um, the door, uh, perhaps. So we'll see. Uh, okay, let's grab all this. And we want to we want to make something out of that. Very good. So it's been uh what a what a <laughs> what a rough week it's been. Um I, I you know it's between me being being sick, you know, and this is my normal sort of twice a year cold that I get. It usually happens around this time. And it's just a regular, you know, just a regular cold. There's nothing, there's no infection or anything like that. It's just, it's just sinus stuff. Um, and then on top of that, it's been cold as hell. Oh, that zombie. Oh, that was not, that was not the shift key. Thought it was, but it wasn't. Hey, zombie. Just, uh, just visiting, huh? Yeah, it, it's been bitter cold this week, and it does not help that I have to be outside, you know, just uh, shoveling snow and everything else. We've had had a ton of snow. This year has been has been uh, very very snowy, and this this happens every couple of years. You know, the first first year I had moved into this house, it uh, I had a really snowy winter. Um, and it, it sort of made me go, oh, I should probably get a, you know, a, a snowblower. And I didn't. <laughs> and then the next two or three years, it, was, it wasn't was very bad at all. You know, maybe five inches of snow the, the entire season. I mean, if even that. I think I had, I think there was one year in there where we had literally nothing. Um but yeah, then this this year is just then you just get hit with these arctic blasts and and a ton of of uh snow and it's just and ice and everything and it just gets to be a, a bit ridiculous after a while. Now how high am I? Am I four up right now? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I'm four up here. I think oh damn it. Well now I can count one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, five. I think I want to go up to eight, I think. Um, we'll see. I didn't really plan out the height that much. I just wanted to plan out how I was going to do the roof. And obviously this is not going to be flat wall either. I'm going to spruce this up a bit. I'm just trying to uh, get the basic shape going. All right. So yeah, it's it's uh, between that and then uh, I've mentioned in some other videos that uh, the cold it's been so cold this year that my my skin is just ridiculous at this point. I have I have the uh, the worst eczema I think I've ever had, <laughs> and uh, being sick, I have now chapped lips. From uh, not being able to breathe through my nose, so yeah, it's 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 all fun and games, <laughs> all fun and games. And my God, are the mobs just hanging around here? You have just a little bit, just a oh, oh, he sees me. Just a little bit of uh, dark spots around here, and suddenly you got every mob known to man. Coming after you. All right, let's let's get rid of this this skelly because he's going to be a pain in my ass. All right, you're done for, and you are done for, and oh crap! Now I spawned 
spawned an entire army. Oh, that's the end of that sword. I have a replacement. I was uh, actually off... Oh, oh man, that guy's just hit me all kinds of ways. Actually, off camera, I had uh, a slight problem here where I was walking back and uh, it's a spawn area there and the mobs were just... a ton of them spawned right between me and spawn, so... <laughs> I'm going to have to get this place lit up a little bit better. Am I at six now? I, I, I don't even, I'm not even really counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Got two more, two more levels. All right, guys, I'm back. And I've got the, uh, the roof looking like I want it to look. <laughs> at least from the outside perspective, this is not how I wanted the carpet to look <laughs> on it, but uh, I don't have, I, I need some jungle planks, uh, I need some cocoa beans is really what it comes down to. Uh, another thing that my farm will eventually have uh, once I find some. And once I get some cocoa beans, I can uh, make all this carpet brown. <laughs> so it's it doesn't look like the patchwork that it looks like right now. Uh, and then now I have to try to figure out some of the more aesthetic things, like for instance, getting a, a barn, barn doors that look correct. And I got to figure out what I'm going to do with that little open area there. So we'll see. But what I want to do right now is get the loft going here. So I think it's going to be right around here. I'm going to do it. So let's see, uh, right here maybe, right above this door, and let's see how how far out do I want it to extend? Uh, let's do maybe maybe one more, and then we'll see what it looks like up top. And what I want to do is I I need to make some ladders here. So let's knock out this one, All right? And then we'll come over here and we'll make some ladders. Do, 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 do. Which is, I need, I need a lot more sticks for that, I think. Also, uh, a zombie was di died and was uh, uh, kind enough to give me some some leggings. So that's that is what that is coming from. Uh, let's do this for now. We'll see what we what we can get out of here. And I need to make some torches too, so it's good I have all those sticks now. Get up here, do one more right there. Very good. Now let's knock out this wall because this will stay. Well, I, I'm going to probably frame it a little bit, but right now I'm just going to knock it out just so that I can see what I've got. All right, and I think, yeah, I think that's I think that's far enough out there. Uh, I don't want it to take up the whole area. I just want it to be, again, just a loft. And let's try, let's see if I can frame this a little bit better. So we'll do this. All right. Do not that. We'll get a little bit of this going. And we'll bring that down. Okay, and then what I need is to get hmm, maybe uh, maybe another rafter through here, maybe, and sticking out the front. I don't know. Might be good for right now, actually. Then over here, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to frame that front yet. Um, I don't want to do it the same way I did this, obviously. 
uh, because it's going to be a smaller smaller hole there but I also want to get these these doors looking somewhat decent because um, I don't want them to be flat like that. well I guess this one's going to sort of be flat right because of, of that um, so I might have to do hmm because you'll see that other side there I guess I'll leave that one the way it is and maybe do this one differently. I don't know. Does it, does it really have to be symmetrical, I wonder? I mean, can it be a little bit different? I, I let's, let's try a few things. Let's try getting some, some stairs here. Let's see if I can do that. And that, that's not half bad. Uh, it's, uh, it doesn't stand out too much, though. One of these things does not look like the other. <laughs> I, think I, I think it's the way I place this here. Let's try this. Uh, I think it went sideways, didn't it? Let me see if I can make that this one go sideways. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. It's harder than it looks. There we go. Is that? Uh, that actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> it's just the wrong color. I, I need something that stands out from the other wood. So probably have to get one of those darker trees over there. I have some some dark wood stuff here actually I think if I remember correctly yeah let's let's see what this looks like and do this do, 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 do. and we'll take that out take that out and stare Nope, nope. You gotta, you gotta turn, guy. Stare and then stare, and then this way and this way. Do the same thing. Stare, stare. Okay. That's somewhat interesting. So let's do this I have a feeling I, I this might look better if I outline the whole thing here let's do that do that and maybe do I have any let's try let's get a few more planks going And let's see if I can outline this whole door and see what this looks like. That is not what I want. I want this guy. Thank you very much. Oh, I hear you. It's a nice try, though, but I heard you coming. And we'll do that. And do well this is going to be interesting note to self make sure I have enough durability on my tools before I start recording got that huh. maybe if I do the top as well hmm Hmm, I say, I, I might be on to something here. Let's uh, let's make a. I, do I have any stone on me? No. Well, let's let's make a good old wooden one for now. Just until we get through this episode, and let's see what this looks like. All right, there we 
very good. And, hmm, I don't know. It looks, uh, it's interesting, I think. I don't know if it's quite the look I'm going for, but I might be on to something. I, I want to make some some windows along the way here, too. So maybe I'll outline the windows like that, too. And we'll see what it, what it turns out to be. But anyway, that will be uh, in the next episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time.